An AstroTurf project in Mankanso, India, Hafwana, southwest constituency of the Ashanti region, is in limbo as the governing New Patriotic Party and opposition National Democratic Congress are accusing each other of being responsible for its abandonment. While the NPP is accusing the NDC leadership in the area of sabotage, the NDC says the government has so far not shown any commitment to work on the project. Ashanti regional correspondent Doris Lonta reports. The multi-purpose Mankranso community football pitch is said to be the only community pitch serving as a ground for funerals and other social activities, including major sporting events in the area. However, before the 2024 NPP parliamentary primaries, efforts were made to upgrade the pitch to an astrotiff. According to the assembly member of the Mankranso Betom electoral area, the pitch was graded and abandoned right after the NPP parliamentary primaries and efforts to seek its progress have proven futile, posing a challenge to the community. One day we went to assembly and they promised us that they are coming to upgrade the park into AstroTurf Park. So we were all happy. I even went to praise the government of the day on our information service that this is the good news that I have heard and I have to come and put it before my people. There were a lot of jubilations. But after that, it was month after that decision was taken. A grader came here, worked. Unfortunately, even the grader could tell you the progress of this work. Because the grader that was here was like my grandmother's mother. That works for two days, breaks down, gets repaired for two weeks. The NDC in the area, however, sarcastically went to the pitch to plant plantain suckers to support the NPP government's planting for food and job program since work was not progressing anytime soon. The suckers were, however, dismantled by members of the NPP. The NPP parliamentary candidate for the area, Elvis Osei Mensandapa, has been offering explanations on why the project has been delayed. You know, now we live in a political world. The first day uh, machine got to this particular field, it, 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 it remained for about a week before we were able to work with the machine. Simply because, you know our opponents, I mean the NDC, they sent their men or their metro men Either they will steal battery, they will find means of cutting holes. He further raised some allegations against the opposition National Democratic Congress for being the hindrance behind the progress of the work. Go to a time, even the contractor was fed up. Formally or initially, when this issue started, we didn't have the idea that maybe our opponents were behind this. No knowing. They had it in their plans that they would use this issue of park as one of our shortcomings. So before I realized, some of them were caught right-handed. Doing what? Cutting holes. I mean, stealing batteries. Breaking glasses of them, a dozer machine. With pictures. So can you provide that evidence? Actually, I can. The assembly member of the area, in his response to the allegations by the parliamentary candidates, refuted the claims and admonished that politics should not be dragged into the issue at hand. If we could drive politics into everything like this, we would never go forward. I am the assembly member. Call the contractor. There was a light pole in the middle of the park. He called me. I have to try call the ECG people, call some electricians to even relocate the light pole. That is what you are seeing there, the light pole that is there. So what is about NDC here? Don't we have a counterparty in this same community that can also retaliate? If that is true, supposing it is true. He further narrated the ordeal students go through, emphasizing that the welfare of the community should be prioritized. And this is the only pack. That serves the community. This is where we do our funeral. This is where we do our weddings. This is the playground for kids, the youth, everybody. 
as I'm talking to you right now, the primary students are going through sporting activities. They walk from the town to the secondary school. Look at how motors and cars are speeding on this road. So this is not a political matter where somebody will drive politics into this place. Let's think about the welfare of those kids and the community. Residents here in Mankranso have highlighted how essential this football pitch is to them and are thus calling on authorities to upgrade the pitch to an astroturf level. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Doris Lonta, Mankranso, Ashanti Region.